Hello and welcome to another episode of Technomaniacs. In this episode we're going to take a look at Uber Student and take a look around uh, what it's got to offer and some of its quirks. And this is based off um, Ubuntu and it's a fairly lightweight version in terms of uh, CPU usage. Um, however, it is quite um, RAM intensive uh, compared to other operating systems. I mean, at the moment, it's using up nearly 400 megabytes of RAM, which is quite a lot given the fact that it's just running the operating system and the screen capture software that I'm using. And I have seen that go up to a gigabyte just with basic web browsing. Um, but let's look at what it's got to offer. When you, when you load up, you've got um, screensaver. And what I quite like is on the screen here, you've got all your system stats, so the hard drive space, the CPU, and RAM usage. At the top here, we've got um, things like uh, Chrome. Um, we've also got um, uh, LibreOffice. And now, if you note, this is actually customized LibreOffice, hence it says Uber Student. Um, which is quite nice in a way. Um, uh, we've also got a uh, referencing manager, and this is a fantastic note note keeping app, uh, Keep Note, um, and it's ideal for lectures because this operating system, as the name suggests, is designed for academics, uh, whether that be university professors or students or high school students or anything like that. So you know, I've just made a, a folder, so that would be say your course, and that'll be your lecture, and then I guess that'll be your topics or so on and so forth but it's a really nice app and they included a script to install a spell checker software um, which is obviously free um, and that run very well um, in the applications menu we've got um, quite a lot of folders but we start off with accessories we've got the file utilities and it comes pre-installed with dropbox you just need to log in um, archive manager and a few others there um, uh, never use anything in there. Text editors, Genie, uh, Leafpad, Mousepad, never heard of that one before, uh, and Ted RTF text processor. Alarm clock, all tray, um, dock any application, uh, camera monitor, uh, file search, donate. Well, you could expect to see that. Great terminal. Now, great terminals run all the time uh, with this operating system. And there is a way to turn it off, but you just hit F12 and you've got. Um, your great terminal. Um, so going back into accessories, we've got notes. That's another nice uh, note-taking app. Just leaves notes on your desktop. Um, not sure what that is. Screenshot, pretty self-explanatory. And as I said earlier, this is based on the Ubuntu operating system, so it does come with the Ubuntu Software Center, along with uh, Synaptics installed somewhere, I believe, as well. Um, obviously, you've got um, web apps as well. Under education, we've got books, um, we've got a basic ebook reader now. Under web apps, which I'm quite excited about, you've got your Kindle reader, um, KNO, uh, quite pricey. Uh, they generally go for textbooks and they're quite pricey. I mean, they're not much cheaper than a physical version, and given there's no price capacity, I'd always go for a physical version. Um, open library, again, really nice to have in there. And Project Guttensburg. Now, this is a group of people have um, put a load of books that were in the public dom dom domain um, onto uh, EPUB and PDF format, I think, or it might just be EPUB, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a really good um, uh, project, um, and they're doing it for free. They just ask for donations of their time. Now, what I was quite disappointed to see is that when I first saw this, I thought it was a, de a designated app, but it's not. It's just a really cut-down um, version of Chrome, which they've launched their website on. Um, and they've got uh, thousands of um, books, not many textbooks, but mainly novels. But even so, it's great to see on, on, um, even though it's just a, sh a cut down Chrome, it's launched on it. It is still quite nice to see. Um, under data, we've got LibreOffice, uh, Calc and Base, and Google Public Data Explorer. Uh, finance, we've got Mint. Although that is a web application, I believe it's a Chrome add-on. Um, but they've got it down there, not under web apps. Uh, presentations, we've got quite a nice um, variety here. There's, now, all these are pre-installed, bear in mind. I've only installed one application on here, and that's um, Stel Stellarium, which I'll show you later. Research and writing, I showed you KeepNote, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, LibreOffice Writer, and that's just like your Word or OpenOffice equivalent. I actually prefer it to OpenOffice. Uh, Lix, 
that um, is a document pro processor which um, is based on the LaTeX engine. Now, if you don't know what LaTeX is, it's a um, it's a maths formatting program um, where you can uh, basically for maths equations, uh, and it's kind of um, I wouldn't say it's scripted, but all the commands for formatting you act are actually typed into a document on the left, and then you've got your output on the right. It's a bit complicated to use, but you can really get some nice formatting there. Um, this is a reference manager. Um, it's pretty much like any other. It's quite a nice um, little app. Um, I use it all the time, but I won't go into that because they're all pretty similar. And you, oh, you've got a lot of nice documentation included with the all the applications. And uh, Google Drive, of course, that's installed. And um, uh, Bibliography Maker. Hmm. I've never used that, but um, might be worth doing so. So the edge, um, Anki. A really nice um, flashcard creator. When you create flashcards in there, it, um, it uses an algorithm of whether you got them right or wrong to um, time when you see them next, and it's a really great way to um, to learn um, new terms or, or facts or, or whatever you need for your exam. Um, dictionary now a dictionary is installed at the system level on here which is quite nice so if you were just to highlight any words in in, in say LibreOffice or on a web browser and you right click you can automatically get a dictionary up straight away obviously you've just got the document doc documentation and uh, lots and lots of uh, free online uh, resources here such as Khan Academy um, and Coursera and fancy stuff like that and obviously you've got subject specific stuff um, you've got Genie and um, um, a few of the applications are actually just installers, but they're just little scripts that launch um, in the terminal, and it's pretty easy enough. You just type your password in, um, and Bob's your uncle. And you've got a calculator on the math slides. Now, I have installed Solarium itself. It's free and open source. It's found on both Synaptic and the Ubuntu Software Center. It's just a virtual planetarium. Um, you've got some Nitro. I believe that is an online program. Again, a Chrome add-on. Um, yeah. Ooh. Well, oh, maybe it has got a, um, a desktop version as well, then. Uh, but anyway, really nice timekeeping apps and stuff there, and under utilities, you just got a few more stuff there. Games, most of these I've found to be online games, so I won't go into them in too much detail. But you've got quite a nice, some casual ones. Luminosity, it's nice to see that that quick link in there, although that just again launches a cut down version of Chrome. It's a Luminosity website. Uh, graphics, we've got um, editors, uh, GIMP, and Inkscape, they stand as you'd expect to see. Uh, but there's a few others installed as well. Now bear in mind this is I believe a two or three gigabyte download this ISO um, so for this operating system so you might have a bit of trouble downloading that because of all these pre-installed apps but it is nice to see. Um, utilities, there we go we've got some nice stuff there. Internet, browsers, Chrome and both Firefox were pre-installed which I like because most of the time it's just Firefox but it's nice to have that option there. Uh, again, Pigeon, Skype, Thunderbird, all standard stuff there. Uh, again, Dropbox here as well. Um, I've got Google Sky as well and a few other things like that. Multimedia. Uh, Kazam, that's what I'm using to um, do this um, screencast for you right now. Uh, I've got Audio Recorder and Imagination as well. Um, what have we got under Players? Um, again, VLC Media, again, standard. A lot of this stuff is standard, but there's a lot of other things you know, installed on top as well. Now, this is a really nice product, and as I said to begin with, it is uh, quite RAM intensive, but qu quite CPU um, low. So a lot of the apps will be booted up on startup, um, so they're extremely quick to launch. For example, if we just try and launch the dictionary here, it's extremely quick, and this computer is five or six years old it really is it's got something like a 1.6 gigahertz single core processor and two gigabytes of ram so you, you can see just how quick um, things launch up um, with on here because they're they're they're, they're, they're pre-launched on uh, on startup um, again file it's an old computer file access took a bit longer um, but Personally, I really like this operating system, and I'm using it all the time now for my work, etc., um, etc. Et um, it's quite simplistic, and I know a lot of you might not like this uh, kind of layout. I personally like it, but it's really easy in the settings just to get rid of this bottom bar and install something like um, Docky or something like that along the bottom, um, and it will look a bit more upmarket, and, and it won't take the um, the uh, 
the speed of the operating system down um, much at all. Anyway, that's been an overview of Uber Student. Um, again, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and obviously, don't forget if you've got any questions, don't forget to leave your comments in the box below. And before I should go, I should just um, I will li give a link to their um, uh, website in the um, description. Um, uh, oh, wait, they want me to choose an operator. Uh, okay, Firefox. Um, I will leave a link to them in the description. Uh, but don't forget to check them out and um, just 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 try it out. As with all operating systems, um, try it out. If you like it, great. If you don't, fine. But um, I'd highly recommend go donating to, to, to this because it's a small project. Um, and they recently released a couple of months ago their 3.0 version, which this is actually um, Plato. Um, and they're still developing, I believe, uh, 3.1 or, or something or other. Um, um, uh, where are we? Um, uh, yeah, so um, yeah, so um, see all about them. I'll leave I'll leave you a link. Um, they're really great. There you go, June. They launched uh, three point oh Plato, um, and I can't wait for the next version because it's such a great operating system, and I hope they continue to develop it. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you've. Um, liked it um, and until next time I'm logging off